All right, Kim, thank you. At 632, we want to keep you updated on breaking news. We've been following out of Detroit's east side where police are investigating yet another deadly shooting from overnight. And sadly, the victim here is a married father of two. Local force Nick Monticelli has been talking to family members and police about this crime this morning. Joining us live now from the scene, what have you learned? Ever, we've learned that the victim, Sherrod Evans, is a fantastic person, according to his family, a devoted father, a great father, according to his mother. But I want to walk you through the crime scene itself. Police believe that the shooting actually began right here on this driveway. They found casings, bullet casings here, and then they found two more outside of the victim's vehicle, which was a Buick parked on that side of the street. That is where he was sitting when he was shot and killed. I want to show you the picture of the victim. Again, he's 35 year old Sherrod Evans. His family says that he gr just graduated from Wayne Community College. He was going to uh, attend Wayne State University this fall, working on his bachelor's degree. His mom says again that he was a great father. He has two boys, an 11 year old and a three year old. Now we'll show you the video of the actual crime scene. This happened at about 1:40 this morning and police are not sure exactly what the motive was and what exactly happened. Again, they think that the shooting started on one side of the street and finished with two additional shots closer to the car that Evans was sitting in, but they don't know much more than that. As far as a suspect goes, they really have nothing to go on. They know that he was uh, wearing a hoodie allegedly and ran off into an alley behind his homes afterwards, but that's all they have right now. So there is going to be a lot of work to piece this all together. Now the family, as you can imagine, is distraught. His grandfather was out here. His mother was out here. Aunts and uncles and cousins and siblings. So many people to talk to and so many emotions going on right now. In fact, his mother just told me that he had a hard life to begin with. He was preemie, three pounds and 10 ounces. <laughs> three pounds and 10 ounces. He struggled to get here. <laughs> struggled, but he made it. And now this accident happened. Now back out here live looking at the family uh, on the front porch over there. You can imagine what kind of emotions they're having, especially for a mom losing her son and losing uh, the father of her grandchildren as well. There's so many things to deal with and there are other people over there, of course, that are going to be consoling and discussing things with the family. They have uh, mentioned that they are going to need some help throughout this process and when they get us the information on how we can do that, of course, we'll pass it along to you. And then as far as the investigation goes and the suspect, when we get that information as well, we'll make sure we get that here online or on air, I should say, and of course, on click on Detroit.com. We're live on Detroit's east side, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.